parents name you fuck that bitch. Well, apparently it's actually pronounced food a big, but still, that sucks. By the way, guys, this is going to be my PC setup. The PC that I'm going to be building once I save up enough money to afford this $3,242.46 in Canadian dollars PC. So just wait on it, guys. The PC is coming. The new upgrades to this channel is coming. And again, I would like to thank Bruce. You know who you are. I'd like to thank Bruce, even Vegan Stains, for, for a while back for sending money to me, even though you didn't even have to. I'd like to thank all of you guys who actually sent me money this year. It, it was... It was a huge help to me. I'll tell you that. It's a huge help to me. I thank you for the support. You did not need to do it. But I do plan on repaying you guys back in some way. Like a small incentive just for my way of saying thank you for the support. For the financial support for that matter. It's been crazy. And yeah. I just appreciate it. Yo. I appreciate it. But to the point of this video, this video gave me quivers, quivers, when I heard the host students say it because it's just so obvious and I'm so happy that they, they just, ah, uh, this gave me hope, they gave me hope. I thought they were actually going to say the typical generic bullcrap about calisthenics, but they basically said the simplicity behind building muscle using calisthenics, and here it is guys, listen. Well, it's just like weight training. Once pull-ups get easy, you can add weight like a weight vest. Simple! I find it funny how people are actually in the comment section looking for me. Multiple comments looking for me like we're strength over size. And am I becoming the ambassador on YouTube for calisthenics? Because if that is the case, I am honored. Before I speak, let me put on the SOS hat of wisdom. Because I think he has a lot more to say about it than me. So apparently I've been called to bestow some wisdom upon you peasants about calisthenics. Well, let me do the honors. So this video is for those of you guys who really believe you cannot build significant amounts of muscle with just calisthenics and I'm going to break down what calisthenics is for you guys since so many of you guys are ignorant about what calisthenics really is. Number one, when you want to build significant amounts of muscle you want to make sure that you are in a caloric surplus. Now there are theories out there that you can be in the minor caloric deficit and still build muscle as long as your protein intake is high but I don't know much about it so I won't speak on it. So guys, it's just common knowledge. Be in a caloric surplus, make sure your diet isn't complete shit. Well if it's complete shit, uh, do whatever the hell you want to do. Just make sure you're in a caloric surplus when trying to build muscle. Number two, you want to make sure that you're training within the sets and rep ranges that is optimal for muscle building. For example, the most common thing that people do is three sets, eight to 12 reps. I think that works pretty well for most people. If that doesn't work for you, you could do four sets, five to 12 reps, it's up to you. That is what I believe builds a lot of muscle as well as doing two to three training days a week for each muscle group. So, for example, I would do upper body three times a week. I'll do lower body three times a week if I was trying to make a very optimal bodybuilding program. If you're a beginner, I would say two times a week. So push, pull, legs, push, pull, legs. You're training each body group twice a week and it should put less stress on your body since people who are just beginners probably can't do full body workouts or full upper body workouts yet. Before I get into part three, just understand that I believe that going to the gym is the most optimal way for bodybuilding. Number three! The reason why people say you cannot build significant amounts of muscle with calisthenics is because people use the word calisthenics and body weight interchangeably, which is wrong. Calisthenics is a form of exercise. Body weight is an intensity. To describe calisthenics in a simple way, for those of you guys who don't understand, calisthenics is a form of training that you can do with body weight or with external weights. For example, a dumbbell curl could never be a calisthenics exercise. Why? Because a external weight is absolutely needed in order to do a dumbbell curl. A push-up is obviously a calisthenics exercise because you can do it with or without an external weight and it's obviously looked at as one of the most popular calisthenics exercises out there. So when using calisthenics, if you want to build muscle and you need to increase the intensity, add weight, okay? Calisthenics is not 
body weight, even though it is primarily trained by using just your body weight. So again, when trying to build muscle with calisthenics, number one, make sure you're eating a caloric surplus. Number two, make sure you're using the right intensity for each exercise that's optimal for muscle building. And number three, just increase the intensity for the calisthenics exercises by adding external weights, such as the weight of the vest, weight between your ankles, uh, ankle weights, or you can change the variation of the exercises to make it harder. So instead of doing a normal pull-up, you could do a one-arm pull-up if you're strong enough to do so. Simple as that. So I hope this video helped you guys. I'm so happy the hospital is broke down for you guys. It's so simple. Just freaking increased intensity and Eden's caloric surplus. And that is it. I am out. Done. I can show you the world. Shining, shimmering, splendid. Now tell me, Micah, now when did you last let your heart decide? <laughs> Look at you, Micah. You miss me? <laughs> so it looks like I will be able to record in there. I just have to make sure I set the camera perfectly. I have to make sure I set everything up right.